this is a basic facial fracture we're discussing. Uh, Miguel is a police officer who was assaulted several days ago, uh, and we're happy to say that the person who assaulted him is now behind bars. Nevertheless, he has a classic fracture of the cheekbone and of the upper jaw and his eye. Uh, how does it feel? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> and when you open the mouth, what does it hurt? It hurts me, yeah. Right over there. Yeah. And that's because the bone that is the arch over here, we call the zygomatic arch, uh, is depressed onto the muscle that helps him open his mouth. So that will be relieved, okay? Okay, and examination, we can see the asymmetry, even though he's very swollen from the assault that he had, that there's flattening of this area compared to the other side. So we're going to bring this bone back up where it used to be and restore the orbit and the floor of the orbit uh, with some screws and plates tomorrow. These are photographs of Miguel taken both before and after surgery. We can see before the operation, his cheek was flat, and here he is about two and a half weeks after surgery with good symmetry of the cheeks. And the view from below, down this way, shows a classic flattening of the cheek compared to the other side. So this bone is rotated down and out, and we will repair that, and we can see that we have good symmetry of both cheeks here. Again, two and a half weeks after surgery, good cheek function, no pain, no tenderness, and he's almost back to work at the police department. This is a three-dimensional CAT scan, which uh, with a little liberty with colors added. The orange shows the fracture sites, so yeah. one over here on his cheekbone yeah. through his maxilla, okay. and the floor of the orbit. And here he is after surgery with good symmetry. The, again, little artistic license in purple. The plates are not purple. And plates put in, reconstituting the normal anatomy yeah. that he had before. Yeah. And again, from the side, good cheek position. An implant is at the floor of the orbit, which is like down over here. So it hold, holding the eye up where the bone was broken. And this last frame is a photograph taken during surgery from below, so we're looking this way, and this really shows the, the plate, the screws and plates on the rim, and we can see the implant that is placed to hold the eye up so that he can have normal visual and normal eye function. Uh, this is sort of the similar place that we've used here on the model, doing exactly what he has uh, had done to him. We're back with uh, Miguel, who, uh, as you recall, is a member of New York's Finest and was assaulted. We're about two weeks, two and a half weeks after surgery. And uh, he's actually doing well. We put plates in by the brow, by the rim here, and inside his mouth. There were a couple of fractures, and we'll go over that. How are you feeling now? I feel a lot better. Good. Open your mouth. Any pain now? I can't open it a lot. That's so, a lot. Okay, we'll get that. And uh, there's good symmetry. And uh, he'll be back to work uh, protecting New York in about 10 days.